Four score and seven years ago, I said I wanted to talk about very specific topics. Okay? <laughs> and I said, this is Pop Tab Podcast's Weekly Rushmore. I'm your host, Jacob Solo, and with me as always is Bradley Millis and Scott Burr. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And this week, Brad, we went into the time machine. We went back to our childhoods. Because back, you know, when the world was fun. Simpler times. Simpler times. And we were watching cartoons, and we got into a heated debate with our childhood selves, causing some sort of time paradox that we don't even need to get into right now. <laughs> but in a much simpler way, we were saying, what would be on the, the, the Mount Rushmore of Nicktoon slash cartoon cartoon cartoons? <laughs> cartoon cartoon cartoons. <laughs> the primetime cartoons of our childhood. The ones premiering at 6 p.m. or later. Nickelodeon. Yeah. Cartoon Network, the big two. The ones that they would just show hours of reruns of during the day. We must decide our four founding fathers of these cartoons. So for new listeners, what we do here every week is we choose a topic that we compare to Mount Rushmore and how it affects us in our favoritism of the topic. We will go back and forth selecting picks in a serpentine style. Until all four heads are replaced with the much better cartoon. Yes. So, we shall roll our d20s now. Shalevin. Five. Eight. I won! Hey! Oh! So, I I feel like, Scott, you and I's list are gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be taking a lot of each other's picks. Jake, I'm not too worried about you. I got so many picks, it doesn't even matter. Everything is good. All All good options. Cool. What's your Washington? So, I... Grew up a Cartoon Network kid. Yeah. Me and my four friends, they all came to my house every Friday by 6 p.m. so we could watch the new episode of Dexter's Laboratory. Yep. Starting shit. The I cartoon. It, I, I cartoon. literally just typed that onto my list. I knew too. it was a race to get Dexter's Lab. It's always the beginning of the night, Bam. and they always do the new episode at 6.30. So you six is last week's episode, 6.30 is the new episode. And, and you know, if if it was good, we would stick around. We'd stick around for later shows. If it wasn't, we would go outside and fuck around. Children having good times, but every Friday, six o'clock, everyone was at my house for Dexter's Lab. So therefore, that is my number one Washington first pick. Damn, good first pick. It's, it's a great show pick. with with some some messages, uh, some some good morals for the kids. Like study hard and be smart and don't fuck with your siblings too much. No, party now, study later. Party now, study later. You're right. When That's you get to my college, favorite episode. When you get to college, it is all about party now, study later. Yeah. My pick? Yes. I'm number two. You're number two. Listen, I was more of a Nickelodeon kid as a kid. Scrub. I just like them cartoons better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the one that really was the, the beginning, the first, my earliest memories of the Nickelodeon network. Your first love. Was the Rugrats. Bow, 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 bow. That's a great fucking pick. I love bow, that bow, fucking bow. show. I, uh, I fucking love That's just Rugrats. a show that, I mean, like, I watched a lot of episodes of it, but only because nothing better was on. Bow, bow. I love Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Tommy. I love Phil, Lil, Chucky, Angelica. You liked Angelica? No. No. Bitch. That's the thing. is, I don't think the characters were as good as Rugrats as, like, I mean, the Dee, babies were fine, Stu, but yeah, the, the parents. Grandpa. Those are the characters. I remember well. Fucking. Fucking Angelica's dad, Drew. No, that was, yeah. Stu and Drew, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Chucky's uh, dad was But it's it's the Charles. It's, each individual episode with Rugrats is so much better than most cartoons. There's an episode where Tommy gets kidnapped and they hold him for ransom because they think he's a yeah, millionaire's baby. Up. Like, that's some good, good cartoon shit right there. Yeah. Reptar, iconic as fuck. And then they give the baby back. Because they realize it's we, not we, the are, we aren't suitable to be fathers. That's true, too. They, they, they hate Watch, the baby so yeah. much. Rugrats in Paris and tell me you don't get emotional. Emotional. I don't care about Chucky. Yeah, because his mom's that dead. That fucking song when after his mom dies. Oh, yeah. You are Chucky. I'm Chucky. Pretty yeah. much. His mom oh, my mom's dead. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. his dad gets a I, hot Asian. What? His yeah. dad marries a hot Asian in the movie. They go my to dad Paris. didn't do that. You're going to do that. You're going to live vicariously through both father and son. 
<laughs> Alright, so I got a Washington. You got a Washing. I got a Washington. A ton of I knew wash. it was a race for Dexter's Lab, so I had a backup on the ready. Yep. On and the ready. Honestly, I feel like I should have just went with this one originally because this is truly Don't take it. the first cartoon cartoon that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna really start paying attention to these. Mm. Don't do it. You <laughs> fucker. Don't whistle at me. I know what he's doing. I can't, I can't even whistle anymore. I'm laughing too much. <laughs> I wish I could do that Ow. fucking noise with my mouth. I Ed, Ed, and Eddie. loved Ed, Ed, and Eddie for the simple fact that I was also that kid just trying to scheme a dollar out of anyone I could. Oh, I, yeah. see, I modeled well, my life after those kids. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, I eat, like, I don't know. I went in phases. I either, I, there was like times where I liked it. And then times where I was like, this is the worst show on Cartoon Network. It was the worst, but it was... See, this is the opposite of Rugrats. The plot line sucked, but the characters were great. Right. Fucking Johnny and Plank. So good. Rolf is my favorite, though. Rolf is Rolf. the best. He makes me want to go. Fucking Rolf. I think that's the thing, is that Ed and Eddie's just funnier. Well, with the main characters, I mean, like, we all had friends who fit the profiles. Oh, yeah. Them, uh, if, whether you were them or you yeah. just had friends. Like, I had a friend who was always trying to scam everyone. I had a friend who was a fucking nerd. I had a friend upstairs, who was yeah. dumb as a fucking brick wall. Uh, I was Ed in my friend group because I was the tall, dumb one. And I was just like, <laughs> mashed potatoes. <laughs> uh, my, my sister would actually make me do Ed impressions for her because it made her laugh. Oh, my God. So we'd watch Ed and Eddie and then she'd be like, say that one. Oh, like, yeah. Those like weird three like trailer trash chicks that were like Kanker sisters. the mirrors. Yeah, the canker sisters right. that were always trying to fuck them. There it is. Or either trying to bully them or fuck them. Both, dude. Because when you're a teenager, it's the same thing. It's the oh, same yeah. Things. Yeah, see, fucking brilliant writing. I know, right? <laughs> Everyone's very relatable to you in in that age. When you're that age, you're like, oh fuck, because you're just like Leslie from fucking science class. Great pick, great pick. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So so now uh, now now we're moving on. My my hot Jeff, my Jefferson, hot Jeff. He fucks a lot. You know who else fucks a lot? Johnny Bravo. Actually, he Damn. never fucked at all. I fucking loved Johnny Bravo so much. He's a piece of shit. See, that's one that I like Jake went back and forth on. I remember loving it and thinking it was funny and doing the monkey. And honestly, my outfits now, I resemble Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I always wear blue jeans and a black t-shirt. But I don't think it was ever very good. Like, what happened? Whatever. Describe one episode to me. Uh, all he does is just objectify women and then he gets the shit beat out of him for it. That was pretty much it. Good. <laughs> but yeah. like, how is that a TV show? I don't know. I think there's one time, it doesn't go back in time, and then he hits on cave women. Yes. I do remember that one. Yeah, it, it was it was him basically just going through different scenarios that are insane. Yeah. Like, they would take, like, one gimmicky plot point from, like, other shows, and it's yeah. like, well, what if he, like, what if we, yeah, what if we went back in time yeah. and he hit on cave woman? What if we went to an Amazon chick or a place where it's just all really hot, tall babes and he just hits on them? Uh, wouldn't that's that be the funny? Whole show. And that's the whole show, and it's all. I think it was all like it was three different segments, right? Is that one of those shows? I think so. It was either two or two. Three. I think it was two. I two, don't remember. Two, With an extra segments? long fucking commercial in the break. Yeah. I also had the same relationship with that as I did with that Ed and Eddie, like you said. I just like sometimes I was like, yeah. But Pops was cool. Who? Pops. He hung out at that diner. That was clearly a bar. You don't remember Pops and Johnny Bravo? The old guy, balding. Nope. All right, Jake, what's your hot Jeff? My hot Jeff, the hottest of Jeffs, I think. The game changer for me. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, weird, shaped things. Hey Arnold. Oh, really? really? Oh, okay. I love Hey Arnold. Really? I, I watched the shit out of Hey Arnold. I thought that show was just entertaining enough. See, but I don't know. Again, I've never been like a comedy person. I'm not looking for laughs. I'm looking for a, a story that grips me, even in my childhood, man. Did that one have like an ongoing, continuous story? No, but like it, there was like overarching themes that were nice. It wasn't always like goofy cartoon stuff. It was like, right. hey, sometimes like, hey, uh, fuck, what do we do if we can't pay our rent? Right. Yeah, that was way better than any. Yeah, it was, I mean, that was that was it's a, like, that was a fun show to watch just because it was like it's the struggles of the inner city. Like, yeah. I didn't relate at all. I didn't either. Even I mean, neither slide. did I. But I, I. I, I don't know. I really, I really you have like a football hey shaped head. No, I couldn't relate. To, I didn't ha relate to them struggles, but like I, I like the show. I like the show. Damn it! I remember one episode that now, after watching uh, "Do the Right Thing," is clearly an homage to that movie. But I remember one episode being really good, where it was a hot day. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's clearly now that I've seen "Fucking Do the Right Thing." Although I will movie. say, like from this one episode of Hey Arnold, there is one thing that gets stuck in my head all the time. And it's the mailman being like, hey, Dwayne, 
I hate the rain. I hate the snow and I hate the rain. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Or that maybe sounds like some Bob's Burgers snow, shit. I hate the snow. I hate the rain and I hate the snow. Yeah, it's the That's snow. That's what it was. It's the snow. Because he's trudging through the snow. Right, because, yeah, they There's have the to. snow day episode. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good episode. Uh, and then I'm in the middle. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Scott goes, oh, oh, Scott. Oh. Who is your Jeff and baby wild card baby? Can't believe I'm about to get this. Uh-oh. Even though it's my second pick, you guys already picked a bunch. Yep. But I can't let it go another one. I got to take Curse the Cowardly Dog. Ah, Damn it! I knew you would do it. For I being, fucking knew you would do well, it. Back to the drawing board, for, baby. For being one of the first horror shows I've ever seen. Yeah. It actually had moments that freaked me the fuck out. Yeah. To this day. Beware the slab. Beware the slab. Thank you. That is the scariest fucking episode. Dude, that That one would come up. on and I wouldn't watch it. I would literally change the channel. That's never it was happened. Too freaky for a children's show. Yeah, and then in in the fun freaky way. Do you remember Freaky Fred, the guy who shaved courage? Naughty. No. Naughty. Yeah. Creepy I... in as an adult, kind of funny as a kid because he's he's Muriel's like nephew or whatever. Okay. And he's like, "Hello, pooch. Why don't you come here?" And he pulls out like a buzz all the time. Oh, he's like, God. Rrr, rrr. he's like, I'll give you a haircut. I don't like that. Freaky. I don't friend. like it at all. And yeah, he's all creepy looking, but still, like, the computer in, in the attic is oh, probably yeah. one of the funniest fucking things uh-huh. in any television, like, cart- kids' cartoon. That thing broke the fourth wall more than probably. God, anything. that show <laughs> is so good. It is. It, you can definitely, like, it holds up to I think to it's that. on HBO Max. Pretty show. sure it's on HBO Max. Um,. My wild card baby. Wild yeah. card baby. What's your wild card baby? This is a real wild card. This is uh, quite a departure. It's going to be another fucking Sour Patch Kids on the candy bar episode. No, 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 no. This is straight up a Nicktoon. Mm, mm, but mm, it's mm. it's it's different from the others in the fact that it's not even a comedy. It's not even wacky a at comedy? all. A comedy. A comedy. A comedy. A comedy. A comedy. A I'm, I'm, my wild card baby is my life is ginger. Mm. Oh, yeah. That yeah, I did not see that coming. That drama is cartoon. a wild card baby. That is hooked wild me as hell. for some fucking reason. I don't know if it was the weird shitty little brother playing pranks or if it was the hot blonde with braces and she kind of reminded me of Betsy Hansen. Whatever it was, <laughs> that show fucking hooked me. Huh. Mm-hmm. It's okay. very very mm. deep. That's a wild card. Wild card, baby. What you got? It's his turn. Oh, what you got? No, br- you're in the middle. Yeah, you're in the middle. It's oh, you. I'm in the middle. And then me. And then me. And then you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then me. Okay, okay. Hmm. My wild card, baby. What's your wild card, baby? Oh, I'm sorry. It's as told by Ginger. Oh. I okay. fucked up the name. As yeah. told by Ginger. Yeah, it is. You're right. You did. Um. So, th- I, for some reason, as a child, had a weird fascination with extreme sports. Oh, I know where you're going yeah. with this. So, obviously, with that backstory, my wild card baby is Rocket Power. Now, give me a... That is the one thing. Actually, no, there's quite a few things from that show that stick around for me. Squid. Calling call the Fuck new guy Squid. squid. Calling the new guy Squid. I hated that Squid looked like me when I was that age. <laughs> and he wasn't cool enough to surf. I was just like, damn it. Surf. I'm not cool <laughs> enough to surf. I don't want to be Squid. But Shoebies... And the woogity 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 thing. Nerd. Those two things will forever live on. That was the one Nick tune that I would go out of my way to watch. That one was pretty tight. I like that one. I don't know why I liked it so it's much. Because Beach Town, man. Every day is summer. Yeah, but like, I feel like there was no really likable characters except the sister. What was her name? Oh, oh, Otto, the was it Otto and Reggie? One. Yeah, Reggie. Okay. Yeah, it's probably Regina. Yeah, yeah but okay. Reggie. Uh, well, I like the dad who worked at the surf shack. That dude was cool. Yeah, Raymundo was cool. Yeah, Raymundo, that's his fucking name. Raymundo. He was a chill ass. And then the Hawaiian uncle. Oh, yeah. I forgot all about him. Mm-hmm. That show was pretty good. Yeah. I don't think I watched a lot of it because it was like always just like, yeah, skateboard, skateboard, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's and then all. like 10 it, minutes of actual I had TV no show. interest in, oh, it was because I was really big into rollerblading. That's mm. why. Ah, that so they did a lot of inline tricks. There was did. Oswald, Otto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Regina, Reggie, the brainy newcomer and techno whiz kid Sam Squid Dullard, and Gary Leroy Gray in seasons two and three. Okay, they. What about uh, Twister? Like Twister, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the dumb Maurice one. Twister Rodriguez. Right. I don't like him. And they live in the he was fictional kinda there. beach he was the community of Ocean Shores, California. 
And I think that's where my love for California started, probably. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh-huh. What else you got? It's my favorite place All to right. go. So, my wild card, baby. Baby! Going with an educational oh. show. Can I educational take a, can cartoon. I take a cartoon. Guess? Wait, you already did your wild card, did you? No. Oh, you're right. Keep going. I'm going with uh, fucking Time Squad. Why? I really liked Time That's, Squad. No. I don't know why. It only lasted like one season. Yeah, but like... It wasn't good. It was just a rip off of that one movie. Did I watch it every morning? I, li- I liked that it was educational. It wasn't really educational. Dexter's Lab is more educational. Not really. No. Neither of them are educational. Let's just agree there. <laughs> I learned about I learned about the Boston Tea Party from Time Squad. All right, okay. That's I went back fair. in time and did the Boston You're Tea right. Party. I do remember that That's episode. That's where I learned about the Boston Tea Party. Yeah. Did you not pay attention in school? School's for nerds. Oh, yeah. Oh, I ain't no nerd. And then uh, my Lincoln. Lincoln. Probably my favorite show. Of all time? Like, what, yeah. Once, no, not of all time. My favorite like cartoon cartoon. Like Once I started paying attention to cartoon cartoons, I was like, Ed and Eddie is great. Yep. But this show, mm. fucking love the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm not going to lie. The fucking intro was good because it was always the chemical X part. You yeah. know, like the fucking spoken word. I'd be like, oh, shit. All right. I'll watch the intro because it's pretty tight. And it's fun to say sugar spice and everything nice and chemical X. The, fe- the best part about that show was the villains. I was oh, unabashed. I was unashamed to be a Powerpuff Girls fan. Yeah. So fucking oh, yeah. cool. I don't think anyone was ashamed of it. That was a fucking good show. You were just making it sound like you were ashamed of watching oh, it. No, I will no, say every just single, how it got me was every the single time theme. that my dad came down and like saw me watching Powerpuff Girls, it was always on like the girliest fucking scene. Well, yeah, well, where it was like, either in like the, them all, in their pink room, all the hearts, like the pink rainbow of hearts, yeah. or uh, it was um, or him. Oh yeah. It was, yeah. Oh, it was just like, oh, why are you looking at a like a. <laughs> Like a oh man, your dad probably androgynous <laughs> devil, devil, devil yeah. guy. Okay, auto tuned to hell. Uh, Him alone should give that fucking cartoon some some clout, I guess. Yeah, for being way the fuck out there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, gotta also give him bonus points for crossing over with the gorillas. I just oh yeah, fucking love that. That was fucking fact. amazing. I mean, the it's same in the same universe. universe. One of the Gang Green Gang was in the gorillas for a time. Uh, it might still be. Was honestly. was Gang Green Gang like just the, the little amoebas? No, no. no. No, no. Who Those are they? The mafia guys. The gangrene guys. Uh, the gangrene. No, 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 no. I, I, I know the gangrene. Oh, okay. But, uh, who, who are the the mafia ones? I think they're literally like, just yeah. the mafia guys. I think they were just like the amoeba mafia. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if they had like a, a group. They, name. they did try to do crimes, but they're the so bad sucked. at it. We're gonna jaywalk. Yeah. <laughs> but didn't they get everybody sick? No, they got the gangrene gang sick. Oh, uh, maybe that's what it was. And then the gangrene gang got everybody else sick. Yeah. So the gangrene gang got credit also for the amoebas work they were just trying to do crimes to get beat up yeah dude they were literally just fucking simps yeah straight up (laughs) fucking great god they were so ahead of its time i think that is one i should go back and watch and just be like i can't believe this shit i do remember there was a whole beatles episode where there was like help i need somebody yeah yeah yeah. literally there was a whole fucking beatles episode i remember that one yeah i do not um The mayor, though, and Sarah Bellum. Oh, damn, Sarah uh, Bellum. Never saw her face. That's the so, hottest part. Mm. Never seen her face. My, my, next, my next, I'm in the middle. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you up, you up. What's your, what's so Lincoln, game some, changer. He yeah. some shit. Transcends what a normal president has ever done. And this cartoon from the 90s has transcended not only time, but mediums. Okay. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good pick. Perfect. I mean, it's not, but it is. No, I think that is the best pick of the entire board. Eh, it maybe. is, but it isn't. The memes. Video games are actually not bad. Battle for Bikini Bottom just got an HD remake. Yeah, it was fine. That's a show that, like, it, I think it came out one year too late for me to really get into. See, I remember watching the premiere. I remember watching the premiere. I remember the hype train for the premiere. I played the Flash game where... It wasn't even a Flash game. It was just like an intro to the characters page on Nickelodeon's website where you just clicked it and they said it had a sound by introducing themselves. I think what happened is the first season, maybe the first two seasons, weren't good yet. Sure. So we gave it that early kind of chance late in life and it was like, this is definitely for nine-year-olds. And we're like 13, so no. Right. And but I remember like season three, they had some good jokes coming in. It, everyone that liked it that was like in my class were all the people that were like lol i'm so random huh? right yeah that's like, true. Too. i don't like you they like the Since weird you like this show so much it makes me like the show less makes sense that's fair and they would like quote it and go ah in class i'm like you're being annoying spongebob is the worst character yep by far but yeah. 
there is some shit. Like the thing that I'll probably think about every time I think about SpongeBob is the uh, Krabby Patty training video episode. SpongeBob isn't in it at all. That video is fucking amazing. And yeah, that slow zoom in Krabby Patty for like four minutes. It's so good. By minute two, you're laughing. By minute three, you're crying, and it's still going. You go. It's a roller coaster of emotions. You're like, okay. are you fucking yeah. kidding? Yeah, it's great. Great. It's a great time. We should watch that. That was a pretty right. good one. I'm down to watch that. All right. I'm last. I'm done. Yeah. I got Who's your last? Old Linky Lou. Who's Link Lou? L- Link later. Richard Link later. Mm. We're just gonna change Abraham Lincoln to Richard Link later on the on Mount Rushmore. You know, I still got some good ones on here. You guys want to do any honorable mentions before? Nah. Nah. Okay. I still got some good picks on here, but obviously the the, the heavy hitters are, are taken. I think for for a similar reason, Lincoln was a very uh, forward thinker. He got he got it done his own way, just like old Rocco in his modern life. Ah, damn! I think that I was a take bad, Rocco. Was as, as, it's a good last pick. I feel good about it. I don't know why. I just so never weird. watched that show. So weird, and it's in in the funniest way. He was huh. a sex, oh fuck. phone sex operator. Oh, that's tight. Yeah. Um. Damn it. I just thought of another show that is tied there with me. Mm-hmm. Angry Beavers. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah it's yeah. real hard to pick between the two. Of I, them. Like, I Angry like Angry Beavers, Beavers a lot. They like drink Angry Yoo-Hoo. Beavers. Yeah. And that's a real thing. It was a show I've that... Drank, like, I've it, never to this day had Yoo-Hoo. <laughs> it's chocolate milk. It's like chocolate water, and it never expires. That's weird. I think I got bored of that show pretty quickly. Angry Beavers? Yeah. Like, I enjoyed it. Yeah. But I was just like... Yeah, it it did turn into like after a season where it was just a show that I had on if nothing else was on. Uh, maybe that's because you saw the episode so many fucking times. Maybe, yeah. That it was like there was thing. a lot of reruns. This yeah. era of cartoons, we remember watching these shows like every day for years. And then right. you go back and you're like, there's only two seasons of this? <laughs> How the fuck did I watch this for years? Right. It's just because we had reruns like crazy. Yeah. Well, let's wrap her up then. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to, you can get this show one week early at patreon.com slash pop tab. That's one week early. At patreon.com slash pop tab. But if you are listening to it on Patreon, comment below whose list do you think's better or any shows that we didn't mention. Yes, give us your us. vote and your list. But I've been your host, Jacob Solo. Bradley Millis is with me, Scott Burr is with me, and we will see you next week on the mountain.